I'm concerned about making it both clear and parallel with the out half of that item. Okay. For the fourth year in a row, style reporters Dan Zach and Monica Hesse are putting together the list. You might be being too picky. That could happen. That has been known to happen. Since the dawn of time, mankind has made lists. There have been lists of commandments, top ten lists, lists of theses, even Franz list. But in 1978, the list was born at the Washington Post. The list divided the culture into two columns, out and in. The great dark secret about the list is that those of us who've done it over the years are always just a little bit too old to be doing it. And this is true, unfortunately, of Monica and Dan as well. I think the list is kind of the best of America. They really couldn't do this in Canada. No, Canada couldn't do this. Canada, I mean, because Canada, I think, would have a problem even dividing things into two groups. Washington Post fashion editor Nina Hyde started the list in 1978 with her assistant, Yura Conscious. The thing about Nina was, you know, she didn't judge you by what you wore, but she knew that people liked rules because they, they kind of like to know, you know, what to do. And so I think that's how the list evolved. I think, you know, we were just talking and I was her assistant back then. And we said, hey, wouldn't it be fun in the beginning of the year to sort of talk about what's in and what's out? And I think that, you know, it got a little weirder every year. In 2000, Hank Stuver took it over. Hank asked us to take over the list in 2010. And we really tried to maintain his cutting edgeness, cutting edginess, his cutting, cutting edginess. edgy, his cutting edginess. Yeah, I know you're anti-Hobbit in general, but I really like, I really like this I item. Of course, handling the list comes with harsh criticism, and over the years, list authors have faced backlash from readers. As we called celiac disease out. That is not a group of people to trifle with. We got I some think. emails from, uh, from the gluten-free community. Who thinks Betty White is out? But you think Betty White is out and Anne Mara is in. <laughs> One year, I went up to The View, and that year we had um, those yellow Lance Armstrong, Livestrong cancer bracelets. I had said that they were out, and the audience literally booed. And Star Jones was really mad at me, but, you know, who's laughing now? But where does the list stand in Washington Post history? And is the list out or in? It is the 35th anniversary. What, where does the list exist from here? You didn't hear this from us, but I've heard rumors that in the future, the Washington Post will be known as the List Washington Post, or perhaps the Washington Post colon the, the list. list. And I think it's something that should probably appear on the front page in the future. But mm -hmm. I'll let the people who run this shop come to that conclusion. When I looked at a draft of the list, most of the things on it, I didn't know anything about them. I didn't even recognize half the things on the list. It's, it's what's right here in the middle between us. Yeah. This, this is the list right here. And we give this. It's like this size. Right, and then we give it to you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>